At a quick glance, these two headsets might look the same, but I have the M20Xs and the M50Xs here by Audio-Technica, and I want to find out exactly what justifies the price jump between them. So first I've got the M20Xs here, and you can tell they're quite a light headset. Their cable is not detachable, meaning you're stuck with the cable that it comes with. It's got a nice slide to the adjustment on the sides, good padding on the ear cups and the headband, and a good bit of swivel to the ear cups. And the main reason I bring that up is because, you know, human ears point that way, not out to the side. So you want it to have a little bit of swivel to the sides to make sure it fits nice and comfortably. And then let's have a quick look at the M50Xs as well. As you can see, there's no cable, so it does have that removable cable for the aux lead. It does have even more swivel this time, meaning that when you have it around your neck, you can swivel it so that it's not digging into your neck. You've got a way to sit more comfortable. On the adjustment, you have a few notches that you can lock it into. The other one was just a smooth glide. These lock into place so that you can get it exactly the same point every single time. You've got, again, probably about the same amount of cushion on the headband and on the ear cups, though it does have a slightly more premium feel and texture. So overall, you can tell that the M50Xs do have a sturdier build quality. The plastic feels a bit more durable, and then to differentiate, they do have this sort of metallic looking ring on the side, showing you that these are the premium model. <laughs> also included with the M50Xs is this nice little carrying case. And inside is where you'll find all your different types of cables. So you've got your standard aux, you've got your coiled aux so that you can Use that at different lengths if you'd like to. Then you've got a much shorter cable for if your interface isn't too far away from you, which is very nice. On one end of the cable, you do have their sort of locking mechanism. So you can plug it into the headphones, lock it into place. So if you do give it a bit of a snag, it's not gonna come out. On the other end, you do have a thread to allow you to attach the included adapter so that if you need to plug it into an interface with a larger port, you've got that covered. So if you need to plug it into an interface with a larger port, Audio-Technica have you covered. Let me get them plugged into the computer, give them a quick test, and I'll see if I can spot any differences between them. So far, I can't hear anything that isn't telling me that these aren't expensive headphones. They sound crystal clear, have a no sort of distortion. Maybe a little bit of the high end is off, but overall, loving them. So these are the M50Xs now, listening to the same song I was just doing on the M20X. These are a little bit more clear on the top end. I could tell now that the top end was ever so slightly muddy on the M20Xs. These have cleared that up just a bit, but I wouldn't say it's to a point that it's that noticeable, unless you had the two to compare. I personally think the M20Xs, just for the, the price, the performance is incredible. They're a little bit lighter as well, so they can actually fit a bit more comfier. If you're sort of in a professional field, you might want the slightly higher quality because you might be able to notice that when you mix some music, mix an audio, anything like that. The M20Xs are fantastic and these obviously take the cake for being the better headphones, but for the difference in price, if you want to get into audio mixing or any sort of audio editing at all, the M20Xs are a fantastic option. So there you go. The M20Xs are a fantastic option if you're looking to get into the audio space and want some nice over-ear monitors to do the job. The M50Xs are the step up. You get the included extras like the carrying bag and the swappable aux lead. But overall, if you're looking for some good headphones, either will take the cake. Just how much are you looking to spend?